Power Automate is a great solution to integrate different kinds of systems using flows. If you want to start such a flow from Dynamics 365, the easiest way to do this are business events. So let's have a look in Dynamics 365 and from the modules, system administration, setup, business events, you can find here the business event catalog. So Dynamics comes with a set of predefined events that are uh, supported business events. These business events need an endpoint to be uh, sent to the outside world. I have configured here one endpoint for Power Automate. However, if you want to use another endpoint, you can use the service bus, event grid, call HTTPS resource, or just write to a blob storage. In this example, we're going to use Power Automate. And I have three events configured in my systems. I'm sending alerts to Power Automate when a purchase order is confirmed and when a purchase order is received. Now, how does this work? In Power Automate, create a new flow. The trigger is Dynamics 365. And you have to provide the instance, the business event category. In this example, it's about purchase orders. Now you find here the configured events and the company. So in the next step, you have to pass the result that comes from Dynamics. So this is a data operation, pass JSON, the content is whatever comes from Dynamics, and the schema can be found in Dynamics 365, so from the business event catalog. You can say download schema, you get the text file, Copy the schema definition, paste it, and save. So now this flow is listening on the business event when the purchase word is confirmed and is passing the result. And here you can use additional steps to trigger other systems. Now let's try this. I'm going back to the Dynamics 365, Accounts Payable, and from here to the Purchase Orders. And I have one purchase order that is not confirmed yet, so let's confirm this purchase order. Now you see here that the approval status has changed and when we go back to our flow here, you see we have one succeeded run and when we go to the details, you see the business event has been triggered and flow was able to pass the result and we see here this information, uh, what happened, uh, the amount, uh, vendor, the company, uh, date time event, purchase order number and so on. Now we can use this information and processes further and call other systems.